So as lockdown was officially lifted yesterday, officially, um, I've got cabin fever and I'm dying to get out of the house. So I'm gonna go check out what Manchester, the city of Manchester looks like, city center. And yeah, 40 minute drive over there, let's go do it. Now I've also got a parcel I need to deliver. Look at how hot it is outside. Look at my face, I'm dripping wet through. It must be like 27 degrees today, so I'm absolutely dying and super excited to get out the house. We also need fuel. How have I driven five minutes and it's gone from three bars to one bar? If there's anybody from Mini watching this, please let me know if there's something wrong with my car and I need to take it in. Does anybody else try and stop it at exactly the right amount? Okay. Oh, number one, please, mate. Look at how cheap fuel is. Basically a full tank on 30 quid. Fuel is so cheap right now, you are basically stealing it. So even if you don't need any fuel, go fill up. It's less than 100, 100, 100 liters, 100 per liter. I feel really stupid that I don't actually know that. But yeah, it's just basically, it's very cheap. So just go fill up, even if you don't need any fuel. Fill it in a canister because it's never going to be this cheap. Also annoyingly, I've just realized I've only brought one battery for my camera and I'm really contemplating going back to get the other battery. So I decided to get them. I think we should probably head off to Manchester now considering it's like 4 p.m. Anyway, let's go to Manchester. So there's a McDonald's over there, but I can't tell whether or not it's open. There doesn't seem to be any cars around it, but the lights inside seem to be on. Not sure. I'm obviously bringing you with me. So the reason that I thought this would be a good video idea is because I know that every country is dealing with easing their lockdown differently. As of yesterday, the 1st of June, the UK kind of started to ease the lockdown and like people started to return to work. So yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys what Britain looks like if you're not from Britain. First, I'm gonna head over to Piccadilly Circus train station, which is normally the busiest station. Let's go there now. Yeah, there are a lot of taxis, which I'm surprised about because I didn't realize there was that many trains actually operating right now. I thought travel had been like stopped. Actually, no, it looks like there's a load of arrivals at the train station. Let's go check it out inside. There's still loads of trains arriving. Hiya. Is the station all open, yeah? Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, there's a lot of trains here, but not really many people here. It's interesting that they've made the seats separated so you can't sit next to someone, as you can see there. Nobody can sit next to me. At Sainsbury's, they're really adhering to the whole two meter social distancing thing. There's like a gap that you're meant to be leaving between people. It's also like a one way system as well to get around the station. You're not able to go through certain areas because it's no entry. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty empty here. There's not much, not much happening. Let's head over into the city center. Let's get out of here. That was eerie more than anything. 5 p.m., rush hour, the main train station, Manchester Piccadilly, is normally Ramo at this time. But there was practically nobody there. There was trains, but still they weren't really anybody getting on them or off them. So if you're not from the UK, the general kind of rule around the easing of lockdown is you've just got to maintain a two meter distance from people that aren't in the same household of you. But you are actually able to go outside and you know go to parks and stuff and exercise for as much of the day as you want. The problem is, is with it being so gray, as soon as you make it okay to go to parks with people that aren't in the same household as you, you're gonna get friends meeting up with other friends and then you're meant to be maintaining a two meter distance from everyone, of course, but how easy is that to regulate, you know? So I'm noticing some small businesses seem to have their lights on inside. I'm assuming that's because they are gearing up ready for the opening of the high street, as you'd say. But there was a estate agent with a full office, but they were socially distant. So, you know, people are actually back at work. 
and it's nice to see. So this is Dean's Gate Locks, which normally at like 5.30, I mean, it's a Tuesday. Is it a Tuesday? Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Normally it'd be very busy. All these places would be open. These are all like bars, rest, bars, clubs, not restaurants. Bet these places are gonna be ramo as soon as lockdown's lifted. The post is closed, but not for the reasons that everyone else is closed. I mean, there's still cars on the road and there's still people about. I guess a lot of them are just enjoying the sun because who wants to be stuck in a flat when it's this beautiful outside? But it's still the quietest that Deansgate must ever have been. Like, this is the main street right here and there's literally nothing going on. Deansgate's actually closed. So this is Spinning Fields, it's the financial hub of Manchester. Normally it's full of people, especially at this time, it's 6 p.m. right now, and it's also at night time, like the place where everybody goes out, goes to bars, goes to restaurants. Everything's closed, nobody's here. What do you expect though? Pretty, 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 pretty. I've also had like three different security people in different areas come over to me now and tell me like, what am I filming for? Because this setup is so big and so intimidating. And it Big fluffy microphone, long tripod, massive camera. So it is no surprise that people keep coming over to me and asking me, who do I work for? Are you the BBC? It's very nice to see people in restaurants wearing face visors. Reassuring, in fact. Because I always thought to myself, if restaurants are still open cooking food and delivering food, what about the people cooking the food? But they are covered up, so that is reassuring. No, don't be closed, don't be closed. Sorry, this branch is temporarily closed. Our route to a new normal, whatever that means. Walk this way. I have absolutely no idea what those things are meant to be. I think it's to separate cyclists and pedestrians. But I didn't realize that was ever a problem because obviously pedestrians walk on the pavement and cyclists cycle on the road. So a lot of like fast food restaurants are all open. You can just walk in and get food, but it seems that the new normal is going to be a capacity on like the number of people that can actually be inside a restaurant at once. So this is near Selfridges where there's a lot of like designer shops a friend of mine works in retail and he's actually gone back to work yesterday, but it's not open for trading because in the UK it's open for trading on the 15th of June, so in about two weeks time. So a lot of people that are going to work, they're more gearing up the place of work for post virus rules, I guess. I also really want to get the drone up in the air, but it's a little bit windy and I also don't know the rules around flying drones in the center of Manchester. Is it open to walk through? No. When's it open? Two weeks, 15th of June. It's still open, it just closed earlier. I am a little bit annoyed because right now is the point that I kind of have to accept that this parcel isn't getting posted. Two post offices I've tried now, both of them are closed. But that's obvious because the high street obviously isn't open. Okay, so I found a quieter place where I'm gonna get the drone up. It's out of the way out of everyone. <laughs> Getting Wi-Fi signal interference. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. And the drone unfortunately won't fly. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say bye to the idea of having beautiful drone footage, but I am hungry now. I felt like I couldn't walk past a KFC and not get some wings. It's been three, four months since I actually had KFC. Two wings. I didn't get any tissues, but I did use hand sanitizer, so I feel like I'm covered. Okay, that last bit is where I've touched, so I'm not gonna eat that part. Incredible, KFC. Nine out of 10, it was a little bit greasy. A little bit greasy.
So that was Manchester and that was my life after lockdown video. I do hope that has been insightful for you guys. If you have enjoyed it, please smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell button to get notified. And also let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the video and what you would like me to do in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.